Juice Man. Juice Man, Juice Man, Juice Man, whoa! Back with another My Career video. You already know what time it is. Featuring your boy OJ the Juice Man Sparks. Let's get it! And yeah, man, going up against the Grizzlies as we just clinched, you know, our playoff berth, a guaranteed playoff berth last game. And this game, we're just trying to tranquilize these Grizzly Bears to make sure we keep that number one spot. Yeah, it is. But the way this game started off made me feel some type of way. I mean, this man out here flopping. I did, I barely even held R2. And they, they call it the charge. Really? That's the way we're starting off this game? All right, bet. They, they just let me know the way this game want to go. It's not going to go my way. But all right, okay, starting off the game, okay. getting to the basket with the left hand okay. layup. Let's get it. Over Marcus Saul. But I ain't going to lie. This man came right back at your boy. Pulling up on Jokic. Pulling up that Yampa. Now I ain't gonna lie, I was so surprised of how many shots this man Marcus Saul took in this game, but me cooking up, getting down to the basket, Yoke is coming right back. I mean, we out here doing our thing, man. And this was one of my highest assist games in my, my career this year. But yeah, I had to try to play some lockdown defense on this man, Mike Conley, because you know he a two way player coming around off these screens wide open for the trail, my goodness. So we jumped ahead a few possessions. I mean, a lot of possessions right now. We down by five against the Grizzlies. And I don't like the way things going, bro. But I came off the baseline rising up. With the bunnies, let's get it. I mean, it, it was bound to happen sooner or later, man. I, I ain't playing no games with these Grizzly Bears because they, they, they causing a lot of problems. I, you guys gonna see what I'm talking about. About to get subbed out. Sub back in, down by 14? Really? 2K be on that bull. No coach will let their team go down by that much and not put it in and start back in the game. But right there, coming right back down relentlessly. Getting my shot blocking. I ain't like that. But Ben McLemore posterizes this man, Wilson Chandler. God damn. <laughs> that man is Superman. Like, for all my OG 2K players, y'all remember, like, in an old my career, like 2K12, 2K13, it was always that guy that, like, just goes off in your my career always. It's been McLemore. As you guys see, I just posted Ryan Chandler Parsons, but I really didn't want to address that because I didn't really care about that. I want this win. I want to cut down this deficit at this point. But back to what I was saying. Whew, touchdown pass. Jokic with the air one. But back to what I was saying again. This man, Big McLemore, channel his Michael, channel his inner Michael Jordan somehow. I don't know what he was doing, what he was thinking, but that man was on one tonight. I promise. It's not gonna respect that jump shot right there. This man Gary Harris just cannot make a damn shot. It's kind of embarrassing, man. Mr. Eight million dollars coming up cold. Ben McElmore finally missed. I'm getting the rebound. Coming down the lane, going baseline with the reverse dunk. Let's get it. Let's go. See, I ain't really gonna hype up that moment too much, but I did have to add a cinematic moment. And I understand throughout this whole game, I had a lot of dunks. But y'all gonna respect my jumper? Damn. I ain't playing with these dudes. And that low key really kind of sparked the game up for us. I'm out here knocking down jumpers, finishing at the basket. I got to a point where I just wasn't missing, but Ben McLemore, being the savage that he is, he's just not missing. I swear that man is on one. I don't know what that one thing is, but it's something. That's Jokic channeling his inner dirt in the whiskey. Let's get it. See, this is one thing I got a problem with. I understand they running off ball screens and things like that, but why are we sagging on defense? This man, Ben McLemore, coming back again. Bang! With another trade. Like, when is it going to stop? How we going to cut down this lead? But when it all fails, give it to Wells. Right there, pull up that Yampa. Bang! Knock it down on corner three. I love it, man. That man is like a... a 60% chance he's gonna make it all the time on Hall of Fame. But Ben, Ben, Benny, Ben, right there getting shut down. Right there, offensive recovery. We gotta lock down everything. We need to get the rebounds, man. We keep giving them second chance points, and I hate it. But coming down with the behind the back into the basket. Oh my goodness. Juicing them up. Let's get it. Cutting it down to seven points, but right there. Oh my God. Out here looking like my man's Kyrie. But yeah, man, that coming down to the end of the first half. We still down, but we topped the lead down just a bit. And if you haven't, man, don't be afraid to hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. Let's get it. So jumping ahead, man, only down by four. Gary Harris is still ice cold from the perimeter from anywhere. This man hasn't even scored this entire game, but Ben McLemore, goddamn. 
I understand I talk real fast at times. It's because I'm watching the visuals, trying to keep up with the gameplay. Right there, coming down with that bang bang. Coming right back with that bang bang. <laughs> I had to get the paybacks for ducking on my man Wilson Chandler, dog. I had to. Because that was just straight disrespectful. This man, Ben McLemore, must have woke up on the right side of the bed because this man just trigger happy, knocking down all his jump shots. I, I understand what's in this man's Gatorade, bro. Please let me know. Drug test this man, but bang! Coming down off the transition, tying that game back up. I swear to God, bro, I haven't, I haven't missed a shot since the first quarter. I haven't missed a shot since the first quarter, bro. I've been on one as well. I'm out here beasting and feasting, as my boy QJB would say. But yeah, man, right there with the lockdown cornerback defense. Whoop! Getting a steal right there, looking like Pat P trying to go all the way. Rising up. And right there is my 10th consecutive field goal made, bro. Half was jump shots and half was dunks. But you got to respect it. Your boy out here balling, for real. Did I say he was Michael Jordan? I think this man a demigod. That man is Stephen Curry from the perimeter. He put up a contested three. Bang! Like, this man can't miss. He missed like two shots so far in this game. That's because one of the times he got a block and one time he just missed. I ain't gonna lie. But as I'm trying to get the ball rotated around the team, they double teaming your boy. I found my man Kenneth for reading that paint. Just chilling, man. So I, you know, I got core vision. I found my mans down there. You know, I got eyes everywhere. I got that Lonzo ability, you did. But yeah, but to jump into the fourth quarter. It's gonna be a very intense one. I already know, man. The game is too damn close. So as we jump ahead to the, the, the middle of the fourth quarter, things like that. Right there, getting another steal, my fifth steal of the game. All right, look at the behind the back pass. It was a Chandler. And one. Woo. Your boy got the magic hands. I got the magic touch, dog. Look at the behind the back pass on the fast break. I know what's a Chandler for that. And one. And you know how I said something was in this man, Ben McLemore's Gatorade? It, it definitely was, bro. And I think Marcus All got a sip of it because after they missed, they got the recovery. Marcus All pulled off the top of the game. Bang! I, I, I'm highly disturbed right now. Like, we got to worry about every single player on their floor right now. Everybody can shoot. Everybody. I don't understand this, but Ben McLemore trying to cook up, shooting the jump shot, finally missing. I'm on that transition already. Terry picking, getting up, slamming it down. Let's get it, man. And I ain't really happy right now. Like, why are we sacking off Ben McLemore wide open from the midi? Are you serious? Like, why is we sacking off on the people that's hot right now? And after, you know, a scuffle kind of went down and things happened, they were trying to fight for the ball. Let me get a jump ball on the side of the court. And guess what happened? Ben McLemore. Bang! Now, I'm like, yo, yeah, this is pretty much a GG, man. Unless I get to the basket and foul or something, we're gonna lose. It's I try to do just that, all kinds of contact. And I did not get a whistle blown. Two so can't be on that mess, dog. I ain't gonna lie, bro. Y'all seen me get slapped up. I'm a small guy. And Mike Conley gets to the basket, man. I had no energy to fight, you know, try to keep him in front of me and things like that. So they ended up getting a one point lead. And then I seen this. He dropped 32 on Gary Harris' head. God damn. Bro, this man was literally on fire. Like, I did not know he made that many points. And as I get double teamed, I kick it out to Gary Harris. This man just ice cold and bread. He only made like one or two shots this entire game when I wasn't on the floor, bro. So we down by one point with 13 seconds left. We got a foul. We got to send him to the line. We got to come up clutch. And me, I'm not fouling ASAP. I'm out here reaching in. Poke the ball loose. And I end up getting a steal. Let's get it. And I'm right there trying to call a timeout. We lose like two seconds because the ref just was not, you know, paying attention. And yeah, man, with four seconds left, we just need to get a foul or just get the jump shot to go. And right there, everybody was clamped up. So I tried to go all the way around, try to shoot the mid-range jumper, end up missing. Now, y'all know I barely miss for the mid-range, bro. I have a 90 mid-range, difficult shots on silver. I know something wasn't right. And so I look, at the, I look back at the clips. It was all kinds of fouls on this play. Look right there, he slapped my whole torso all the way up to my face. Even hit my hand, that's when the ball went short. Look at this, bro. His hand is inside my hands. Look at this contact, bro. And y'all probably say, oh, you should have passed it. Look back at this clip. Everybody was covered. Right there, I could have passed it to Jokic, but 21 probably would have jumped the play. If I took it in my own hand, shot the ball, got hit in my hand, ball goes short. No foul, no whistle was blown, no nothing. So we ended up losing to the Grizzly Bears, dog. 
Now I'm mad. 76ers is next on the schedule, so make sure y'all tune in. Somebody go ankles gonna be getting chopped up all left and right, up and down the freaking basketball court. Yeah, no, I barely lose in my career, man. I'm kind of pissed off, but make sure you like the video, subscribe, leave a comment. I'm out. Juice me. You playing for them now, Rook? Man. Hey, hey, hey. Don't even sweat that. We all got our bad games with Mr. Simons. But just slow your game down. You'll be alright. Thanks, Coach. Rook. It's like my grandfather used to say. The sun don't shine on the same dog every day. It ain't no thing, brother. But a chicken wing. It ain't no thing but a chicken wing. Hey.